Hey, what's going on guys? Alex is here, back at it again with another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing one of the cheapest gaming laptops that I have found. Now, this specific laptop is the Dell G15 15.6 inch laptop. I bought this laptop from Best Buy for $799 at a discounted price. The initial retail price is $999, but I thought that the $200 off deal was so good that I had to buy it and show you guys. So here's the box that the laptop came in. I went to Best Buy today and officially picked it up, so it is here. I'm really excited to unbox it and just get into it with you guys. If you guys are ready for this video, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, and also turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload new content. This laptop has an AMD Ryzen 7 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and for its graphics card, it has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 3050 Ti. Basically, this laptop, on paper, it sounds good, and the price is not too bad, especially compared to all the other gaming laptops. If you scroll down the Best Buy website, you'll just see that all the gaming laptops are a thousand plus. And this is one of the few that are readily available and have a very affordable price for what you're getting. So without any further ado, let's get into this. So it did come in this box, like I said. It's a little taped up here, so I'm just going to cut this tape with some scissors. I'm just gonna peel this back and let's see what we find. So here's how the inside of the box looks. Obviously the presentation, not so well, but what do you expect from a laptop like this? Here's the laptop in all of its glory pulled out. It's still in its plastic wrapping, but I think it looks pretty sick so far. I got it in this cool white color and it has like little speckles on it. So that's a nice touch. Yeah, and it has this like really cool texture. I like the look of it so far. Now also in the box, aside from that, we have this little compartment which houses its power cable or it's charger cable, it's a laptop. Oh, and then it has the extension of that charging cable. So I think this laptop has to have this like little brick when you charge it, which honestly I am not too fond of, but it's one of the cheapest gaming laptops on Best Buy, so can't be that mad, right? And then aside from some extraction manuals, which we do not need, that is it in the box. It's pretty simple. It's just your laptop and your charger cable. So let's get into this laptop, shall we? Let's take the laptop out of its plastic caging. And so I can show you guys the full look of this laptop, the Dell G15. So here it is guys, it has a full plastic casing because remember it's it's pretty easy on the budget. But something I do like, it's, it's not just plain plastic. I don't know if the camera right now will pick it up but I'll definitely pick it up in the B-roll. The front has this like cool texture and it makes this really cool noise and also I like the little the little Dell logo and how it looks. It's a little shiny, looks cool. But yeah, one, one drawback is this computer does have a little bit of chunk. So that that is something to be aware of. If you want to be portable, light, and on the go, this is, this is a pretty hefty machine. Now aside from that design feature, we also have this like, it's not necessarily a handle, but the hinge is also very big at the top. And that is in another gray color. And then on the hinge, as we can see here, we have the G logo for the G15, so that's a nice touch. That's basically the main design of this laptop. I'm gonna go over the ports now. So on the left side of the laptop, we actually have the ethernet cable input. We have a headphone jack and we have a little battery indicator. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know, it's just a little light with the battery logo, so I'm assuming that's what it is. And then on the right of the laptop, we have two basic USB ports. You think that may be it? Well, guess what, you're wrong. Because actually, this is a very interesting design feature that I don't usually see. The reason the hinge is so chunky is because there's actually, there are actually ports on the, the hinge. So on the hinge, we have a USB-C port, we have a regular USB port, and we have an HDMI port, and we have the charger. So pretty interesting how they have ports on the left, right, and back of the computer. That is a first in my books. All right guys, time to turn on and actually test out this computer, time to see how it feels and everything and how it looks once you actually open it up. So let's go. All right guys, I'm opening the lid right now, let's see. There we go, that's how it looks on the inside. Let me, let me remove this plastic covering. And there's the screen and everything. I like that it's a matte screen. How did I forget to mention this? One more thing to mention, since we're speaking about the screen. The screen is 120 hertz, so you get that really high refresh rate, not a 60 hertz computer. You get 120 hertz, which is something I really like about this computer. That is a huge selling feature for me. So here's the computer opened up and everything. The screen is decently big. Um, one one flaw, one, one kind of criticism I can give this computer is, honestly, we're in the year 2022 and 
The bottom of the computer looks pretty updated, but this screen, just something about it, like this, this big notch here, or whatever you call this, I don't know, it just doesn't look like the design stand, it doesn't meet the design standards we really have today. So if you don't care about design, just care about functionality, this computer is great for you. But if design is really important, really consider it because th this is the design. If you like the design, then perfect. But I just know that it's not really like the slim compute dream computer that we usually fantasize about today. So as you can see with the stickers, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 processor and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. So I'm just gonna do a quick typing test like on the keyboard before I even turn on the computer because the keyboard is a big part of buying a computer. Okay, first, first opinion, these keys are like, you know Apple keys, they're like very clicky and to the point. These, compared to the Apple keys, because I use a Mac as my daily driver, a MacBook, they're very mushy and just like, not, not as tactile feeling. Like the typing is fine, it's just I need I need more tactile, you know, so it's not it's not really giving that much for me. As for the the trackpad, you can definitely tell it's a budget computer because a lot of budget computers they really they really lack in the trackpad department, at least in my opinion. And yeah, it's it's just plastic, it has no special feeling and no no haptic feedback like Apple, of course. It's it's a physical button that you're pushing down. So there's that. Alright guys, enough reviewing, enough criticisms and pros. Let's power this computer on. There we go. The computer is turning on. There is a backlit keyboard with red lights. So that's interesting. I don't know if you can tell right now, but yes, those are red lights that the computer keyboard is being backlit with. So I can 100% say without a doubt that this screen is a 120 hertz refresh rate. I can feel it already. On the screen, pretty good. All right, time to set up this computer. So for the country and region, I'm obviously gonna select United States. Th this trackpad is very weird. That that is so far. That's my biggest problem with this computer. But if you can get over that, still an amazing computer to consider. You you have to click really hard to get it right. Um, I'm gonna connect my internet real quick. I will be back. All right, and the internet is set. Now it's just checking for updates. The computer. Once again, we get the Dell logo. I feel like I'm going too harsh on this computer. The price is really good. For, and the internals that you're getting, top notch. Review the license agreement. Dude, I do not care. Except. Now it's making me sign into my Microsoft account, so I'm gonna do that real quick and I will be back. And now it's asking me to create a pin, so I'm just literally gonna do one, two, three, four. Now it's asking me for support and protection, so I guess I just have to put my name, my email, my country or region, and my phone number. Sure, steal my information, go ahead. All right, and finally we have reached the page where it says meet Windows 11 Updating step one of three downloading and that's gonna take a little while So I will see you guys right after this finishes uploading and we will check out the rest of this computer All right guys, and the update is officially done. We have the Dell G15 finally ready with Windows 11 ready to go boot it up Let's see what this computer has to offer. All right, finally it is ready. We are actually on the home screen of the Dell G15. As you can see, it's preloaded with this cool home screen that has a G there. And we also have Microsoft Edge, the search browser used for this computer, this laptop. All right, before we hop into a game and actually test out how this computer runs a game and everything, I wanna first test out the speakers because I kinda of heard like a little sound and I'm just curious because it didn't sound too hot there but it might have just been like the, the noise that the computer was making. So, so we're gonna go on Microsoft Edge and I'm just gonna search up YouTube. So I specifically picked some bass boosted music so I'm turn the volume up to max and let's just see how it sounds. And honestly, after this, I have really nothing to say about it. It's not good, it's not bad, they are functional, it works. It's it's not like the MacBook, the new MacBook Pro. I was genuinely surprised with that speaker system. And obviously it's a it's a two thousand dollar laptop compared to this. It's it's not gonna be it of course it's gonna be better. So speakers, they are meh, but they get the job done. And if that's what you want, if you want a good gaming computer that get just gets the job done. This is why this computer exists, basically. All right, guys, and now it's actually time to put the computer, the laptop, to the test. I'm going to download Apex Legends and see how this laptop performs with the game, 
And yeah, I'll show you guys. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, what is up? It is currently the following day. I actually filmed everything you saw before yesterday. Today, I'm actually going to test out the computer running a game and that game is Apex Legends. I finally downloaded it and everything. So everything is going well. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how a simple game like Apex Legends uh, will perform on a computer like this. So this is your point of comparison for this computer. Let's get into it. Now I'm very excited to see how this game performs because like I've said, this computer does have a 120 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty good. It also has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti, which is pretty great graphics, especially for a laptop like this. So yeah, let's just get into it and see how it performs. As you can see, I have Apex Legends loaded up. All right guys, so I'm currently hopping into the firing range in Apex Legends. I know it's not a game, but I just want to show you guys how this computer performs and everything, and I will let you know the frames per second, so do not worry. Right now, I am moving inside the firing range, and although it may not be an online game or anything, I still think that these graphics are pretty intense, especially for a computer this size. Um, and right now, I am getting an average of around 80 frames per second. Oh, right now, I'm getting 90 frames. So it looks like it's going anywhere between 75 to 90 frames per second, and that's pretty good. Um, considering this is a 120 hertz display, the extra frames per second over 60 do matter because you can actually see them. Um, and yeah, everything just looks super, super smooth. Let's try to shoot this dude. Get out of here. Yeah, this is really, really smooth gameplay. I, this is, this is pretty good for a laptop this size. Like this is, this is on par with my PC and that, that is a huge PC that this computer is able to fit all of basically have the performance of my PC and in a way smaller shell and footprint and yeah I think it's great I mean this is an amazing gaming PC so it's obvious that this computer does have many drawbacks that I've stated another one that actually I learned about today is that the battery life isn't too great my computer was around 90% before I went to sleep and today when I tried to turn it on it was around 10 20 so the battery did drop a lot but that is because it stayed overnight. But still, my MacBook, I charge it and it holds its charge. Obviously, you can't be expecting much from an $800 gaming computer, at least that's what I bought it for. Um, so yeah, it does have its drawbacks, but if it does do one thing good, that is gaming. If you do have an external mouse, because that trackpad isn't usable, and you don't really care about the keyboard of your computer or the aesthetics of your computer, this is a great just gaming computer. Honestly, this may be even a great computer to just buy and hook up to a monitor and just, Literally just use it to power, so nothing about, you don't use the computer yourself, you just use it to display something on the monitor. I think that'd be a great purchase. But yeah, if I would have to say the two things that this computer does the best, I think the screen, because if it's 120 hertz, and it's generally crisp, and the performance for games, I think that that definitely shines. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It really means a lot to me. If you like this video and wanna see more videos, please smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload new content. Also consider becoming a member just by clicking the join button, you can learn more about it. Thank you so much for the support on my channel that I've been getting recently. It just means so much to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.